Okay, we're out here, back in our spot. Moon's still out. We're trying to get some more sturgeon. We're out here with SF Angler. He's tying up his bait. But let's see if we can get a nice oversize. Ooh. Hopefully, or just something. We need to feel some big head shakes. Because last trip we got two small ones, but and lost a big one, which really sucked. So my eyes are on that rod all day. If that thing moves at all. It's hook setted. So yeah, we got two rods out. Probably, hopefully. Next time I turn this on, we'll have a fish on. Yep, see you. Oh yeah. I'm getting bit. Got him. It's a good one. It's not a shaker. One inch lucky dog. One inch. I need a picture of this bad boy. Pick it up. Go. Torpedo him in. Oh, nice. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. We're gonna have to wash First that ever size. <laughs> ever. Whew. Nice. Okay, I'll show you guys how I'm baiting this up. We got our ghost shrimp that we caught yesterday. Look at this one, got no eggs. I'm just gonna put it right through the top of it, all the way through, just thread the first one on. And then all the way out with the tail. You want the hook to be exposed, you can get another one. That one, perfect. We got eggs, we need, we need thread. Start tied up. Nice and tight onto that hook so it won't fall off. And then we also have these two beads right here. And you just you want to tie it onto those beads. Just kind of slipping down but just keep wrapping. Get it all the way up to there. Wrap. 
around those beads a couple times. Just want to get it nice and solid onto that bait. You get your second one. Keep that hook exposed. Come on back. Get your one with the eggs. Put them upside down on there so the eggs are out. Just for that scent. <laughs> Tie it. Just tie it straight on, don't even hook it. Just wrap it a couple times. And then when you're done wrapping, you just go like this, put your finger out to catch it, you go through, shake a little knot, pull it tight and snap it. And there you go, that's your bait. What's up guys, AAP back here. It's fucking storming out here. We're trying to get some bait for tomorrow. We're going sturgeon fishing. You can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title and shit. But we're pumping our own shrimp like we usually do, but it is storming. Oh my God. Oh, look at right there and right here. We're just trying to get out of here. It's so cold. Oh there, look at, row, row. Let's go. Best, best bait right there. A road out goat shrimp. Yeah. And they just keep pumping. These are called shrimp pumps. Oh my god, it's so cold. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna film. But that's what we're looking for. Exactly what we're looking for. A little goat shrimp with a bunch of row on it. Beautiful, beautiful. Row. We're killing it right now. This is one of my best days. Shrimp pumping. Okay. We need nine more for the limit. I've been getting three and four in each hole. Two in a row. I got three in, three in one hole and then I got four in one hole. Oh, there's one big one in there. Oh, there he is! There he is, guys! Oh my god. See that? Big old claw. Oh, look, there's another one. Another one. There's shrimp everywhere. Got right here. Look at any of these little craters. I don't know if you see that right there. Just send it. You just get down there. Oh my god, that bird just stole a nice one. Mm. Oh, I'm done. I'm out. Take it. It's fly. It's got some weight. It's got some weight. It's got, it's looks. Come on, slot. Come on, slot. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. Or is that? Or is that? You might need to get your rod up, yeah. dude. Uh oh. There he is. Oh, slot. That's slot. That's slot. That's slot. Come on, 100 pound test, horse's ass. Short, short. I don't know, get him in, get him in. He might be a keeper. It's not a bad size, it's not, not a bad. Size. Keeper, keeper. It's 40. Come on, 40. Got me to whip him in? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, you can. In between these two rod holders, don't get stuck on the cleat. One, two, three. It's gonna be close, man. Another close one. Now I might be close it. It's on the other end. Yeah. It's gonna be one inch too short. Still a nice fist, though. Good little fight, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go 40 inches. 42? Come on.
Big one. Did you turn it off? Sound like I'm turned off. No, it's on. Oh, this is a big one. Another, oh, that sounds huge. He was kamikaze in it. It was just going. Uh oh. That's a monster. That's another monster. Oh, oh yeah! That looks like a slot. That could have been a slot. Oh yeah. Gonna go this way. We're gonna make this go in a circle again. I think it's on the other side too. Oh, and it's turning the boat. Oh yeah, that's a good angle. He's just... your daddy. <laughs> Who's your daddy? I'm manhandle you dog. Come on. You want me to get that? Thank you. Lead it, lead it. Oh, it's a keeper, it's a keeper, it's a keeper. That's a keeper, that's a keeper. Keeper, 100%. 100%, let's go. Oh my god. 50, 50, 50, let's go. Okay, here's a fish, we got a bunch of pepper all over it. Like, hope we're like, Put in a fan on it to get it all like not wet and just dry for the smoker. About to start it up in a minute, but yeah, let's we'll see. About to get the finished product, so back here in three hours. So yeah. Okay, smoker's ready. Here we go, we're about to open it. We'll go ahead. We got some trays to put it on. We'll just step on some water. Good, nice and smoky. Mm, smells good too. Looks nice. Hold it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's cut it open. I wonder what that's from. That's from flooding the fish for these stitches. Watch out while playing sturgeon. See how it works. Yeah. Going apart. Dull knife, so. Still going to you. Yeah. It smells very good.
Drop the hint of spice from the pepper. Mm. Amazing. Too slow though, right? Mm-hmm. 